Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick one. I'm just going to answer a couple questions I got in the last few days here. Uh, the first is to do with my Google Earth uh, X referencing uh, video. Uh, in it, I show you how to geo reference a Google Earth image in AutoCAD. While it's not the most accurate method, it is an easy one to do and it works a lot of the time if you don't need to be exact. Um, the question was, how do you change the coordinate system, which you can see down here in the bottom. Right now it's in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, how do you change it to UTM, uh, which is pretty much an XY coordinate system and makes it a little easier in AutoCAD. Um, to do that, you're going to go up to Tools, Options, and under 3D View here, you're going to change the Show Lat Long. You're going to make sure that it's in UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator, right here. And units of measurement, you can change to feet, uh, if you're not in Canada like I am, or meters. So if you go feet, UTM, and hit OK, it's going to change your coordinate system down here. Uh, hopefully that helps. Um, if you need uh, anything else, just let me know. The next question I got was, uh, how do you uh, bring in LiDAR points into Civil 3D? So here I've opened up just a blank uh, Civil 3D 2013 uh, drawing, but it, it should be the same, or actually I know it's the same in the last four or five releases of uh, Civil 3D. So to bring in a LiDAR uh, points, it depends on what uh, file you've saved them as. A lot of the times it's a .xyz which is, uh, depending on how you formatted it and how it's been exported from LiDAR, it's going to be probably comma delimin delimited, and it's going to be a text file or a .xyz file. Uh, either way, to bring those in, uh, you might need to do, do a little bit of formatting um, by changing the file type or the organization. But to bring in points, like any other points, you're going to go to the Points button here and select Point Creation Tools. That's going to bring up this menu. And if you hit the uh, blue little button here, it's going to bring up the Import Points command. And here you can bring in uh, any, any point file you have. You just hit plus sign here. Find your file in your drawings, which I don't have one right now. But it's going to look for a text file. Uh, you can find an XYZ, which most LiDAR points are, CSV, which is comma delimited, uh, point file, dot NEZ, uh, all the common point uh, formats. Once you select your file, it's going to ask you the format. Uh, you might be using XYZ, like here, with a comma. Um, you can try out these, uh, open your file beforehand to see how it's organized, X, Y, or Z, or maybe it's Y, X, Z, or if there's descriptions in there, you want to make sure you got all that. And then you're going to be able to pick which format it's in, and it'll show you down here which each column is going to be. Just make sure that looks right, and you're good to go. Check here to add the points to a new group, and you can click this little thing here to uh, name your group. And then when you're done, just hit OK. It'll import them all into Civil 3D, and you should be good. Uh, that's all for the questions today. I'm just going to make this a quick one. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe and check back soon. I'm going to keep releasing videos hopefully every week for the next little while. Cheers!